Hobbies. Hobbies. 911, what's your emergency? Hey guys, Twisty. Stay fresh. And we have recently saw the new movie, The Call, featuring Halle Berry. Happy Easter, by the way. Oh yeah, happy Easter. And um, in it, she is a 911 operator, and she is trying to help a girl get out of her emergency. <laughs> yeah, literally, that's pretty much what it's about. Yeah, that, um, that, that's what the, the whole, whole movie. movie. Yeah, but it's called the call. So I mean, I, I mean, mean, what you're expecting? I right. Mean, yeah. But um, it was fairly interesting. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good thriller. It actually holds your interest pretty much throughout the entire thing. There's never a point in time where I was thinking, oh my gosh, this movie's still on. I was actually like, oh my gosh, yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah. It actually, <laughs> you know, it actually did hold your um, attention. And um, as we said, Halle Berry plays Jordan Turner. Mm -hmm. And it kind of gives us a little sneak peek into the life of the 911 operator because... I don't know if you're like me. I just literally thought this person sat there and answered the phone 24-7. They didn't move. They didn't eat. You know, anything like that. But, you know, it kind of gives you a sneak peek and to let you know that the people we don't think have lives have lives. And that they're human. <laughs> that actually some of the um, calls and things actually get to them. And that they actually have a, a quiet room, if I'm thinking that yeah. that they go to when, when something gets too intense, even for an operator who's, you know, trained to deal with an emergency. So th this movie was really nice in that aspect. It's already done. <clears throat> the characters of the movie, once again, they say Halle Berry is playing Jordan Turner. She's a 911 operator dealing with, you know, of course, helping people with their emergencies. <laughs> the 911 you know. issues. And she is... Um, she has recently dealt with a call and it and it did not end it properly did. It didn't and end well good. at all and it's because she made a decision a, a you know a hasty decision and it was probably a, a wrong oh, decision mm -hmm. and you know it did not result well and so you're understanding the trauma that she goes through mm -hmm. to try to regain her composure to actually be able to perform her job and you actually mm -hmm. um it, it does let you see how normal people would deal with something like that. You know, you don't want to think of the 911 operator as heartless or cold. Um, or a do, robot. Or a robot, <laughs> because they do have souls. They are human beings. And so, you know, it just lets us know how one of them couldn't handle the call that they were supposed to handle, how it didn't work out and anything like that. And, um, you know, it, it does, uh, it is interesting because she, you know, she, she steps down, she decides to pursue other interests inside the 911 call center, um, besides taking calls. So, yeah. And it once again reminds us that it, it will never probably be an automated thing it actually needs to be a real person to actually respond properly to each one of the things where they all have to know the codes and what to type in and things like that and who to alert. Abigail Breslin is um played Casey Wilson and she's the girl that gets kidnapped. That's yeah. pretty much all you need to know about her, seriously. Yeah, pretty much. And Morris Chestnut plays Halle Berry's boyfriend. Who also happens to be a police officer. Mm -hmm. Didn't see that one coming, did ya? And then Michael Eklund plays Michael Foster, who is the person who is behind the entire um, case. And that's kind of interesting to see how he unfolds as well. Because there's a lot of things that you have to infer about his mentality. Mm -hmm. And it's to the point where he comes off as normal, but he's a little bit crazy, and we're not really for sure why he's so crazy. It's yeah. something to do with his past. We know that, and we see a family member there. And I'll, I'll let you kind of put it together. But it still it tells the whole story through pictures, and some of the pictures I even questioned at the movie. I like, how did were these pictures taken? Right. Because they seem to obviously plan it, and that was one of the flaws I didn't notice in the movie. Oh, nine one one. Okay, can I say nine one one? What's your emergency first? Oh my god. Okay, I'm like, oh my god, what's oh my god, oh my god, shut up, he's your papa, stop saying that, he's your papa, he hit your face, he hit your face, oh 
happened? He hit my face. Huh? Okay, I'm what's in your the name? Trophy. I'm in the trunk. What's I'm your the name? Trunk. Your name is Trump. Oh my God, I'm Why is your name Trump? I'm gonna need you oh to get out the trunk. Hey, hey, oh. hey. Oh. What's your name? Oh. oh no. Oh, okay. Mary? You special. Look, okay, Mary, you get on up out the trunk, okay? The overall plot of the movie deals pretty much with what we've been saying is in a nutshell is Halle Berry dealing with this one call and trying to get this girl um, to safety and um, mm-hmm. trying to make her help, help her make good decisions and, and help her get out of her emergency. And it really is a thriller. It just, it, it, it Every turn, everything bad that could happen happens, but there's nothing about it that seems fake except for, um, as I mentioned <clears> earlier, <throat> the photos where it tells his past. It, it that seemed a little bit forced, like a couple. and it, and it's kind of a spoon feeding us the, the the backstory rather than you know maybe think of another way of telling us. So. Yeah, um, and also not only with the plot, it shows. Halle Berry overcoming a small victory. It shows um, Casey. Casey Wilson, who is played by Abigail Breslin. It shows her overcoming a small, you know, small little victories along the way. And, you know, you're rooting for these people. You're rooting for them. You want them to succeed. You want them to, you want everything to go well until the end. I mean, I'll let you judge for yourself. I was not happy with the ending because to me, um, an ending does does one thing. It doesn't matter if it's a good ending or a bad ending. It has taken the characters to a certain place and then then throughout this journey it, it takes them and it leads them to this <clears> one point. <throat> I will believe a character can turn evil, turn good, do be indifferent, can do anything for right. as long as it has been consistent or there has been a change in that okay. character that has caused this. Right. And there is a significant thing that Halle Berry character does that I don't think was justified based off of her past actions. No. So. And based <clears throat> off of her character in general. It, it just it didn't seem realistic. It, it's already done. For all, definitely check this out. I would definitely give it a probably a 4 to 4.5. And if anything else, ladies, go see Morris Chestnut. He looked hot. So, okay. So, if you're looking <laughs> for that, Halle Berry was, you know. I didn't like her hair, but she was hot too. Right. Mm-hmm. I didn't like the hair. It didn't mm-hmm. work. It was like a curly split. Whatever. Besides the point. Um, Go see it. <laughs> yeah, it was. Mm. Mm-hmm. But go see the movie. Um, <laughs> yeah. So definitely one to check out um, if you want if you're into suspense, um, thrillers, thriller suspense, what else? Look for something that's gonna keep you on edge, but still not be overly grotesque or anything like it. It just definitely check this movie out. Once again, that's the call featuring Halle Berry. It's twisting. Keep fresh. Thank you guys for watching. Check you later. It's, it's already, already done. done. No, no.